Hey guys, I hope you're well. Uh, my name is Yvonne, just in case you came across this channel. Uh, welcome to my channel, Join the Family, by hitting the subscribe button. We do our content uh, on home decor, interior design. I do a lot of vlogs as I shop for decor. So I think that's a proper introduction. If it's the kind of content you'd be interested in, then consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, now, I just finished... Um, shooting another video i was closing that video that vlog that you'll be watching i think one week or two weeks from now and then i thought i was done with my day because today is saturday i thought i was done with my day i can go do my laundry i can undo my hair because that's what i want to do today and then boom i remembered i have this vlog that needs to go up on monday next week i'm planning on uploading three videos that is monday wednesday and friday because i missed so many uploads uh for the last four weeks which is not good so i need to be able to um, to upload three videos next week and all these videos were shot uh in the last three four weeks so there's this certain vlog that i was editing last night and i figured i didn't get to explain what was happening it's just shots of you know clips just me walking around shopping stuff like that and i wasn't able to explain what was happening i think what happened is that it got to a point where i was super super tired working on three projects at once is not fun it's a lot of work so i think i got to a point where i was just so tired so yeah let's let's begin So I started my week off by visiting Carpet Crafts, they are along uh, Mombasa, not Mombasa Road, why do I keep saying Mombasa Road? I think I'm used to Mombasa Road so much, but now I'm also used to Gong Road because I keep visiting Carpet Crafts. They have unique pieces, um, I'm talking carpets, they also have some baskets in the shop which you can uh, go and check out. So I was there to pick some carpets for my client and I ended up buying four pieces, that is for the living room, dining space, for the bedroom, for the TV room. Room. they have a wide collection again a very unique collection so you can check them out um, I do a lot of shopping and also a lot of window shopping and I'm always happy when I walk in one shop and I'm able to come out with all the pieces that I need so yeah this is one shop to actually check out if you're interested I'm going to link down uh, their Instagram page because they're very active. They post, I think, every other day. So you're able to see uh, the new pieces as they come in. So yeah, just check the description box to a link um, that will take you to their Instagram page.
I enjoy shopping so much so that same day I ended up going to tax store in Lovington I think it's the same as Thailand carpet it's just more or less like a mini branch for Thailand carpet so I was there to just look at some of the furniture they have to just see if there's anything that would work with the space um, with my client space but uh, I ended up working with Odds Kenya and I know I have a vlog hub where I was taking you guys to Mombasa Road that is at Odds Kenya so I was able to select all the furniture at Odds Kenya but uh, I still loved some of the pieces that I saw at tax store but I think uh, for a fairy for fairy priced pieces I would still recommend Odds Kenya And talking of carpets uh, from carpet crafts I picked a few pieces for the house or all the pieces actually for the house so I picked one for the living room my client didn't want anything that was super bright uh, when I say bright I mean white so I picked something that wasn't dull but at the same time it wasn't white and he liked this one so much so this is what we went with and it's perfect size for the living room space the couch you see is also from Ots Kenya again with amazing quality furniture pieces um, then for the dining space i had two options so i wanted to choose between a brown one and uh, the black one that you will see in a few so for this uh, brown one it's good it's nice i like it but since i'll be changing the floors to brown that is uh, installing brown kekawambao this would not have worked well with the space so i changed and went with this black one which looks so nice it goes well with the black wall it goes well with the gray curtains and at least now the brown table is able to you know stand out against all the black and the dull colors that we have in that space now talking of furniture from Odds kenya i went with this coffee table it's such a beautiful unique piece my client likes quality every wood and uh, this is what i picked from Odds kenya it's heavy it's perfect it's the quality on this thing is so so good i also loved the touch of you know the metal that you see around it it gives that kind of stereo vibe so yeah this is what i went with can't wait to style it i was also able to get a console table for the entry because i didn't want to leave that space uh, bare so this is what i picked from Odds. The dining table is also from Hots Kenya. I think all the furniture that you see is actually from Hots Kenya. I loved the quality on it so so much. I think I'll attach a clip of how the set comes. So yeah, this is the set and it's so beautiful. The quality is so good. This is thick wood and the entire set was coming um, at 19, 119k and I think that's a good price for the kind of uh, table you're getting. The quality on it is super super amazing. Um, again, I made sure to pick the type of cushions. I love these type of cushions from Old Kenya so much. You know, they give that minimalist vibe and you're able to get some comfort as you have your dinner and lunch. So yeah, it's beautiful, perfection. So one more update um, in this space and I'm actually so so happy to share this with you guys. I hope uh, you're able to get to learn from it. So remember we painted the walls black in this space but uh, we used matte black and I wouldn't recommend you guys to use matte black if you're looking to change your walls or to paint your walls uh, using black paint. So the matte black what happened is that it would stain, it would get dirty, it would chafuka. Every time you touch in a chafuka if you try to wipe it turns color so it's not it's not good at all and I had to make a decision of changing this and I decided to use silk. So yeah this is a mistake and I was able to learn from it so I have no regrets. So we changed the walls and I used silk paint and that shiny is able to you know you're able to wipe your walls and uh, it will not stain it will be perfect it will be smooth so that's what we did so just note that please note don't use matte paint that is black matte paint use silk use silk so yeah now from there we moved on to light fixture installations and I think from here I had my energy back so I was able to vlog through it and I'm just going to leave you guys to watch that video
so today we're doing light fixture installations and as you can see we have some of them in the boxes the installation has started the electrician is here so he has fixed the one for the dining the one for the living room uh and still we have a number of them here so i like the packaging at first let me say this again not sponsored but i like the packaging from maiden lights i got the fixtures from maiden lights and i think their shop is in Naivasha and they actually do deliver in Nairobi. So I like that they fixed everything well, uh, they packaged everything well and I was able to get every piece, every bulb. Um, so the piece pieces, these are what? These are wall lights and you can see the wall light comes like packaged nicely with like the screws inside. See? Yeah, so I like this. So there's a lot of fixtures over here. There's this that we're going to fix in one of the bedrooms. Um, I think this is a floor lamp. Yeah, I think this is a floor lamp. Yeah, I believe, yeah, this is a floor lamp. So there's a lot that is happening. Um, and I think I can show you some of it as the electrician was uh, on duty station. So do you have three? Two. 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 So we already have one piece in place, that is the living room light. I wanted something that was it low, because the ceiling is not that high, so that's why I picked that piece. Uh, but for the dining space, I wanted something that would flow a bit lower to the dining table, so we went with that piece. I don't know if you guys can see it, because I feel like it's against the light. But maybe we can come to this side. Yeah, so this is the one we picked. You can actually like uh, rotate this if you need to change the settings. And I just love how detailed and uh, unique it is. It's perfect. Yeah, so we already have that in place. I like the black metal because it matches with the black wall in the dining area. So this piece I have here, this goes uh, in the bedroom. I just wanted to bring it upstairs. So this is for the bedroom, yeah. Again, black, gold, and white. So there's another light fixture over here. This is one of my favorite pieces, actually. So this one goes uh, in this room. It's for the TV room. Here, I didn't want something that had too much light because it's the TV room, which I'm thinking you don't need too much light while, uh, while you're watching TV. So this one, it's just one piece, and then it comes with one bulb. Yeah, now as the light fixtures are being fixed, I still have more work to do in the house. So for now, I got this carpet from Carpet Crafts. I think I got this last week, and I want to try and fit it in this room and just see if it fits. If not, maybe now I can exchange and get a new one. So we'll try and fit it and see if it fits. Um, in this room before I bring in the coffee table and a TV cabinet. So, um, okay, the idea for this space, which I think I haven't shared with you guys, is to have like a black coffee table over here to match the black wall. Remember we painted this side wall? Ah, sorry. Remember we painted this side black, so I need a black coffee table and then we're doing like a TV cabinet over here. A very simple minimalist design. Uh, yeah, because the space is not that big, so I'm avoiding going with a lot of bulky furniture. So that's what will be happening here.
for the couch that you see this was custom made by our room designs and we wanted a very minimalist piece for this space because it's not that big so my client actually wanted a three seater and that's what we were able to fit in this space so i'm just going to link our room designs down below in case you'd be interested now for some reason i feel like i'm actually more excited about this room than any other room in this house and this is where I was sort of doubting myself so, so much. But I just like how everything is looking. I like this carpet so, so much. It's warm. When you step on it, it's not rough. It's actually warm. And then it's not something that is going to hold a lot of dust. And it's easy maintenance. I'm actually so, so happy. And it's going so well with my couch over here. If there's one room I'm actually excited about, um, it's this room compared to all the other rooms and i think it's because this is the room that was giving me some panic attacks because <laughs> there's a lot that was being done here and i was working with a lot of color mainly on the couch my client wanted something different than the normal grays blacks you know so we needed something a bit colorful and i remember when i was speaking fabrics i ah, gosh no I just didn't know this was going to work. Like this color, I was a bit worried. Although I'd created like a design, a mood board that I was following. But you know, like when it comes to actualizing that thing that is on the board, it's it's quite a process and it can give you a lot of edicts. So yeah, I just, you know, fingers crossed, I pray that it would work and I'm just so happy. Like I'm looking at it right now and I'm, wow, I'm just impressed. I'm just so proud of myself. This is what we call growth and uh yeah this is just to just show you guys you know whatever you're doing whatever you're working on with the doubt with the fear just just face it and just do it um yeah i'm just so happy with the outcome i'm so so happy with the outcome this carpet this carpet is so so beautiful the couch is so so beautiful i'm just having a moment yeah i'm just having a moment of you know appreciating myself for this <laughs> clearly so i just can't wait to show you guys how the entire space turns out after we're done or after i'm done i do this all by myself and i keep telling myself that i need some help uh mean when it comes to like getting someone to help me with installations an assistant and all that but i've just, but i haven't figured out a way of uh doing that so at the moment it's just me and i'm just so happy <laughs> yeah I'm actually so happy. Make sense finally. Did you make fado? Okay, Leveki. Oh, Mona. Okay. Awesome.
so small update we have done uh, the wall lights for the bedroom I actually thought there was one that was supposed to go here but uh, it seems like we won't be having one here so I'm just going to do like a plastic cover and uh, make sure it's in grey and then already we have uh, that in place this is the bedroom light it's so beautiful I like it again I was trying to go with something that is not low because the ceiling is not that high so I'm happy with that and then the wall lights to match it so the one that they're fixing now this is just their tool box they come loaded with so many things i can't even tell what is what over here uh the one you're fixing here goes in a kid's room so yeah i was looking for something a bit different unique playful i think he would like it yeah the kids bedroom this is where we are putting that light that has like the roof detail um and then we change that situation that is happening over there yeah now this other one has been fixed i actually love the rope detail this is so creative i think it's a fun thing to like put in a kid's bedroom because it's just different and unique and fun and playful so uh, I actually like it a lot. Yeah. Look at that, how beautiful is this? I'm so so happy the the lamps you see over there those are uh, bedside lamps so I removed them to the bedroom but I'm so happy with these fixtures so so happy with this yeah now we have also done installation for the TV room there is the wall light over there and then I picked a very simple simple ceiling light because i didn't want uh, too much light in this room again it's the tv room so there's no need for like a big light fixture with a lot of lights so there's that i love it let me uh switch off the lights how cute is that and then there's the other one over there um yeah yeah so these are the two pieces that are in this room awesome this is the master bedroom it's a bit dark uh, in here but it's better than it used to look uh, before so two wall lights then the light fixture is up there and then i've changed the setting of the bed so it goes to that wall uh, there's the bedside lamps like that so the house came with a bed so uh, I was to do the rest of the installation without the bed. So the bed was here, just got the lights and the lights up here and this. So I've left space over here because I'm thinking of doing like a lounge situation, like a mini couch, a small one, where my client can maybe sit and have a drink, have tea, have coffee, read a book, and then there's like the wall lamp over there. So this wall lamp can be here or it can be in the living room. So yeah, this is it. Now I've been able to measure the carpet. Um, the one that I liked from Carpet Crafts will actually fit, which is amazing. So I'm actually so happy about that. So that's the next purchase for me. Yeah, so love it. Look at this thing, you guys. Look at this thing. How beautiful is this? 